Luxury watches are the best watches in the whole logical world in every sense, such as functionality and craftsmanship. Of course, design is an area where luxury watch brands shine as they look to explore new ways of improving the creation and aesthetics of their models. A way this is possible is through the use of gemstones, particularly diamonds. If you have seen some of our other videos, the topic of customization has been raised, in which gemstones have been used. Also, if you don't know by now, customization is a huge part of us here at Time for Diamonds, being known to create magnificent bespoke pieces for customers. As said, we use gemstones in our customizations quite frequently, and in today's video, I will be covering the argument of diamonds versus gemstones. Let's get into it. Before I start getting into the argument between the two, it is important to note that diamonds are a type of gemstone. However, they are in a league of their own in comparison to other gemstones. Therefore, it is more diamonds versus the rest or the other gemstones, which sounds a little too harsh to gemstones like rubies or emeralds. So let's stick to the title of diamonds versus gemstones. The difference between diamonds and other gemstones is the fact that diamonds are formed from a single element, which is high pressured carbon, whereas other gemstones are naturally formed from multiple multiple elements or compounds. This means that diamonds are slightly more natural and have a sense of purity. The source of diamonds and gemstones is not too different. Diamonds and gemstones can hypothetically be found anywhere, but there are main places and to be honest, the only places you will find them. Diamonds main sources are Russia, Canada, Australia and Southern Africa. Gemstones have no defined source, but they are mainly found in Southern Africa too, like Tanzania or Kenya. Diamonds are harder to find and rarer to possess, as the sources are limited whereas gemstones can be located and accessed in more places. When looking at the strength of diamonds compared to other gemstones, diamonds are much stronger, making them ideal to wear every day. They are also able to last a lifetime. A few gemstones are durable, like sapphires and rubies, but the majority are brittle because they have a weak mineral structure, so they are more likely to gain damage. So far, this does seem very one-sided, with diamonds taking the majority of the positive lights. However, there are positives surrounding other gemstones. Diamonds are deemed too conventional and can also be considered as plain, meaning colour is favoured. Gemstones can come in a selection of various colours, all very stunning and mesmerising. Also linking to our customization, current social trends show that people are starting to favour colour. People are wanting to express themselves in different ways more than ever before. So because of this, gemstones are becoming more popular. Additionally, being plain is becoming boring, with many wanting to be different and unique in their own way. Therefore, gemstones take a hand over diamonds on this one. Also, a lot of what has been mentioned surrounding why diamonds are favoured due to being rare, strong and aesthetically pleasing means they are much more expensive than other gemstones. Depending on how you look at it, it could be a positive or negative for both. Gemstones being cheaper and still displaying beauty is a positive. Alternatively, diamonds being more expensive does imply that they are in a league of their own. A similarity of the two is how the value is determined. Both of their values will be finalized down to the cut, clarity, color, and carrot, aka the system of the four Cs. There are different types of cuts, such as round cut or baguette cut, and the grading is from excellent to poor. It is advised that you do choose a cut that is at least good. Color is the main part when gaining a prize for gemstones. For diamonds, the grading starts from the letter D and goes down all the way to the letter Z. Color D diamonds are colorless, but the lower you go down the scale, a tint of yellow will be seen in the appearance of the diamond. Even though color D diamonds are completely colorless, it is very difficult to see the tint of yellow up to the color J. Clarity is down to the inclusions on a gemstone. These are the small fractures on the gemstones. The fewer the inclusions, the better its clarity, the higher its price. Finally is the carrot. The higher the amount of carrots, the bigger the diamond is. This is not an essential part of the grading as you can get a small diamond with a strong grading in the other seas and it's going to look better than a large diamond with poor grading of the other seas. This applies to all gemstones, not just diamonds. So using a ruby, the cut, clarity and carrot grading would be the same as a diamond, but with the color, the stronger and bolder the red of a ruby is, the more expensive it will be. To round up this video, like most cases, it is down to preference. Personally, I would say diamonds are favored majority of the time because they are rarer and hold more value whilst also being extremely stunning. However, the use of gemstones has been very successful for us when customizing watches. Also, brands have used gemstones, like Rolex with the 11 
RBOW, which is a beautiful piece, one that we get requested to make for clients. But what do you guys prefer? Let us know in the comments. That is all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time.